hit hard at the eight yard line by two Panthers, and he bounced off that trying to make a move back inside and actually ended up picking some yardage. Second and goal to go from just inside the five. The ball is nosing over the five yard line. Clock is running, six and a half minutes to go, and Gordon certainly needs six points here. Tight formation, top arena and side four in the backfield. There's a handoff to side four. No, it's top arena around the left side. As he picks up a couple and maybe will go down to the three yard line. Let's see where they spot the ball. That is where it is. Is where it is. I guess you could say that. <laughs> it came out in any case. It's uh, at the three yard line. It's going to bring up third and goal as the fake was decided for off the right side. I think he had the touchdown. Top arena came around to the left side and was tackled fairly quickly. Here we go. Tosia hands off the left. He's off the left side. He's into the end zone. A big boy rolling down the field with a three-yard touchdown. And how would you like to be out there on a football field on a two-man game and have a 265-pounder barreling your way? I wouldn't like it very much. But right now, John Levin has the two touchdowns for the Longhorns, and that is rare to come five minutes deep into the second quarter and Jason Sizemore having not found his way into the end zone. He'll try to add the two points here. The snap is down. The kick is up. And you may tell from the crowd that Sizemore is perfect. Five minutes, 55 seconds to go, and the Longhorns try to inch their way back into the ball game. Dwayne Ray sets to kick the ball away. He does. It's a deep kick that's going to be taken by Whit Harrell. There's a fumble at the 12-yard line, but picked up by Rogers. And he's going to be down immediately at the 17-yard line. Actually, that's not Rogers. That's Matt Thacker. He picks the ball up but doesn't get anywhere as he fumbled it. And was fortunate to get back on it. At least fortunate from his perspective. Not good if you're a Longhorn fan as they need a big play here. Plenty of time, however, for things to settle down for the Gordon Longhorns. 28-16, 5 minutes, 50 seconds to go in the second quarter. And we've got a huge crowd here at the Mustang Bowl watching the six-man state football championship. There's a snap back to Lopez. He goes back to number 20, Tony Cirillo. He's in trouble, and he's going to be tackled at the 18. A great play defensively by the Gordon Longhorn, Chris Chamberlain, who was injured earlier. He had to come off the field limping terribly. And apparently he's okay because he made a great play there. And you know, I'm thinking about something, Lynn. Boy, that's 28 to 16 look a lot better from a Gordon perspective than 28-8. It's a big, big difference here. It's only eight points, but still, the way the ball game could shift, there's a lot more time now for the Gordon Longhorns to really get back and do something just down 28-16. Only a pickup of a yard as Whitfield goes into a spread formation. There's a pass across the middle and lots of yardage for number five, Jason Cook, but a heck of a tackle there. Number 33 for the Longhorns, that's Jeremy Jackson, who made a great open field tackle. And took Cook down, let's see where they mark it, at the 29-yard line. So it is short of the first down. It's going to bring out third and four for Whit Harrell. And just a good play from Jackson. Into the spread formation again goes Michael Lopez and Drew. He has a couple of men behind him. There's a pitch back again to Cirillo. He's around the right side, has the first down and more. He's at the 40 at the foot race. He cuts back across the field at the 30 to 20. He'll go in for six points for the Whit Harrell Panther. My goodness, Tony Cirillo all the way down the field. A 51-yard touchdown, but I tell you what, what that was again was downfield blocking. We have a, hey, we have a penalty on the play, don't we, Lance? We do have a flag. Oh, it's against Whit Harrell. And that is providence for the Gordon Longhorns as that was going to put a huge burden again on their offensive shoulder. Still will be a first down for Lynn Harrell, but they take that six points off the scoreboard, importantly for Gordon. I tell you what, when your quarterback is going downfield and blocking and busting blocks, you're doing all right. There's a pitch back to Rogers. He wants to throw the ball. He's looking deep, and the ball is caught. But let's see. I think we're going to have offensive off pass interference. Yeah. The ball is caught, and it is a touchdown for Whit Harrell. But that was Jeremy Jackson back on the coverage, and I believe he was pushed off. Chamberlain is off the field again. Uh, looks like he may still be limping a bit. Now we've got Thacker at quarterback. He pitches back. It's a fumble on the play. And number two, 